Okay, it is going to be our first defender to go. And then we've got just one more. Oh, we'll see who that's going to be. Azami, maybe. Fenrir, possibly. Azami, it will be. It's as if I've cast this game once or twice before, Des. Just a few times, it's in sort of That vending machine area where we see that bulletproof <laughs> camera, you're going to have a good time on this defence normally. Lobin still Does working the around underneath, I think. Wookie Man is more than aware of his position, but he's not going to expose himself just yet. Yas does manage to pick up Maya, though, and that is that position at the top of the stairs that's been cleared out. This could be great for D+. Plus. And here we go. Ring around the roses now. He's aware of his presence. Who wins out in the firefight? It's Lobin to win things out first against Wookie. So one for one, Exchange between the two before Lobin being traded out by Coated. Good bit of team play being shown by D Plus in the first round. They need to continue that really because we know that Loss are going to be aggressive. They're going to be out in the map and they can't allow them to get more joy um, than maybe one kill at a time. They just need to keep those trades coming in. Yas is going to pick up Dash as well. Four versus two now, four versus one oh, as D Plus start in. collapsing onto site. Cameraman, he is wedged deep in sight here. Remaining. Just needs to start trying to pick up some Ooh. kills, but nope. Coated knows exactly where he is. Steps up, gets himself a nice finish to the round. And that's going to be D plus Kia picking up 1-0. Nice, the drones in the early round. Last round when we came down to that last 45 seconds or so, there were only two left in pocket for D plus. This round, sure, there's still one in back pocket, two out on the field, but the Solus is doing work. The problem is they've got to win gunfights. And right now, D plus just aren't losing a single one. They're really not. And like I said, I'm very aware that it's early to be saying this, but you know, I've also got to look at it and think D plus do look like a phase team a phase two team versus a phase one team at this point in time um you know we've got to remember that the teams that have come through phase one maybe haven't had um you know as good of a second wow. stage of the year and have had to go through lcqs wow. and all sorts of things and right now d plus certainly look like the better of the two dots manages to pick up one to prevent it being a flawless round but they know exactly where he is and dealt with quickly and easily with utility the there. shown presence is already going to be stretching losses mental a little bit saying right where are they coming from what we've got to deal with here. How do we deal if someone stabs us in the back? Lots to think about. So we're just watching for that yellow stairs rotate for the time being. It's Lobin who could potentially be cut off by that. But whilst he keeps himself up there, he's not in a bad in. spot. Harper's going in to get this diffuser down. I'm not sure whether he's going to be able to make this stick or not. Dash Definitely managed can. to pick up Woogie Man. And I don't think they even have any idea that that's going down, that Harper's managed to get in there. Yas picks up Dash in a very late trade. We've got him bouncing in either direction, but three versus three. It's not quite the sight oh, it used timing. to be, isn't Gary John Consort? But still a very difficult one to retake. Maya's trying to find anything picks up Soldier at Yellow Thor takes down the Lion they're fighting in every direction every which way here at loss but whilst D plus have that vertical it's going to be very difficult on the retake I sent one of the upstairs but then Yas has cut across six and zero finds himself at coated with another couple by themselves and they just get squeezed they yeah. get punished they get droned out they get figured out and they lose a couple of players before the execute even begins and let's not forget Des this is on new consulate this is a map made of tiny little rooms and lots of corners Roma should be having a field day they should be able to, you know, have an effective presence on this map. It's think, difficult yeah. for the attackers going in and having to clear all of those corners. We've seen this from Logan, Logan a couple please. of times, but he's just not daring enough to get out there. This time he takes action. He gets the kill onto Soldier and gets away with his life. That's more of the effect that we need to be seeing out of Logan. Just but now... He's being chased down. Like I say, he's just been so scared for most of the game as well. And it's the, the constant solo play that's caught him out. This is the first time he's made use Attackers of that secret run out. This time actually gets the kill. Only really thanks to Soldier strafing too far across to the right. Otherwise, I think Lobin would have happily sat inside and not chanced the run out. However, like you say, he was being chased down. I think he's managed to avoid detection for the most part. Sees one more and there we go. Second time round, they work, work away with it. This is the sort of stuff they tried back in round one with the C4 coming out through Cubby and Lobin trying to make the play around this area. That that is a little bit unforgivable, but Lobin's found three. It's still a 2v3 though, and you've got Woogie and Yas still to try and push in. Quite simply, Loss have to win this round. After the work that Lobin has just done there, and I'm well aware I called him out at the beginning. Oh, <laughs> Woogie. Not at this level, my friend. Not at this level. The Woogie Man has scared himself on that one. <laughs> Halloween uh, was a few days ago, mate. <laughs> he asked me how to get him back up at the very least, though. They're down to 15 okay, seconds, though, Tim. They're nowhere near the gonna site. Be it's going to be running and try and get Franks here, which simply is not going to happen. No, very unlikely. Uh, you know, yeah, coming into that round, I called Lobin out. I said we needed to see more. He'd been ineffectual in those first three. If you're going to be out in the map, you've got to be getting the job done. And he's oh, really good. You can try and push forward and go direct into the archive site. Uh, you know, lots of options uh, going on, Lobin. 
Lobin what? again getting a job done. Impact nades himself back in. Lobin has woken up. We've seen this a few times actually. You can now jump out of admin windows, and so a few people realize the other day they're like, wait, that's a thing you can do. You can indeed. And I think it was Doki we saw employing it as well in his their game uh, against Fury. It was in their very first one. Lobin is simply on fire, dragging his team through this game single-handedly. Coated restores some order up to seven and one himself. Now with Lobin offline, can D plus win the three v four? Well, this is it. Lobin's job again is done. He's played that really well. The only thing I would say, and it's not a criticism because he's got two kills, he's catapulted loss into the round. The Solis could be very useful here. If you're down in archives and they're trying to plant some Wookie stairs, man. then you've got that opportunity to potentially spot it out. It's probably not going to matter too much. Yes, does have the diffuser in hand. I would imagine that loss with those two kills from Lobin should be able to manage the rest of this round quite effectively. Really good read from Wuggy as well. Almost got the second kill on two dash, which would have brought this round back to a 2v2 and suddenly it becomes very winnable. The blessing really is that there's still 90 seconds to play with. They're going for the hot drop, but now they've got to be careful about where they get tagged from because they know they're being enroached on from above. Watching the angle, they're ready and waiting and he finds Maya coming in behind. I said Maya versus Yas might be a big one to watch. So far, it is the Yas show. Yas has read that beautifully, knows where that challenge is going to come from. Five seconds before it does and gets himself a real easy pickup. But I like this from Lost. They've calmed down. There's a minute left to go. They plan. know that there's a lot to be done here and they don't want to be losing bodies. So they don't want to peek anything. They're going to force D plus into their lines of sight. But as you say, Yas has got an opportunity. Surely Corton sees him first. He does, but somehow they managed oh, to get down the side. There's one for Corton. Dash is low health as well. Diffuser's down. Lost might have just handed them an opportunity to get another round here. D plus. They just need to find this final kill. Nate comes out. It's going to force Dash to use those toes to get himself away. So many nades. They keep tossing a couple out in there as well as so keeping back even longer. And that pillar position is so strong to play in here. Kota can dance left, right. The time being, Lobin is going to be spotted out, but he's wasted half of the round. He's got the entry kill. He's taken the book offline as well, which removes a lot of that verticality um, that could be used against them. <laughs> Dash manages to find Soldier. Five versus three. Loss are looking pretty good for a 2-4 split here. I really think the Solus has done so much work for them this half in cutting down the Intel game coming out. Great shot from Dash as well onto Woogie. Much better here as well. A couple of kills coming in the mid round. So actually, Loss will get that saving grace. Now, you're still against Yas. He's still 7 and 0. We've seen Yas perform, walk through teams for fun. There is every possibility that he can do it again, but they're down to the last 60 seconds, Tim, and they don't have any vertical control. No, they don't. Very difficult for, for D plus to win anything here. You can see the silhouettes up above them. As soon as they try to walk into garage, they're going to get put down. <laughs> they are kind of uh, in the wrong place here. You've got yeah, Yas outside you garage, and the diffuser's really. on the ground floor. Um, there we go. There you go. Yas tries to walk in. Headshot from Meyer, I would imagine, who I don't know exactly where Meyer is, but I'd give a guess that he was probably up above. Uh, no, he wasn't. He was down just behind Yellow Pillar. Pillar um, yeah. But uh, yeah, well played from, from Lost, really. <laughs> what? All right, Lobin. He's Lobin goes for another I mean, I'll tell you what, given how he's played this half, Why he not? deserves that. Have, Why not? Not? Have it. Yeah. 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 There's, still four, there's still four players here. Oh, oh, nice shot from Harper. We're going to give Harper oh, that one. Absolutely yes, beautiful one tap around the corner. Go Completely go and utterly meaningless. Katie, in like the lion, like the jackal. Top floor still fully in their control at this point. And really, as we get into the last 60 seconds, you've got to see Lost starting to move at some pace here. Maya's been yellow pin, which means the ass should start moving into action soon. Absolutely. He's going to be opening up that second hatch. There is a man underneath it. Going to have to relocate. But D plus probably fairly happy here. He Four versus five. Yas still active out on the roam. He's just waiting for his opportunity. He's going to catch him as he comes across. He might get two I think he knows. I don't know if everybody's just moving away from him. But no. Lobin steps straight into him. I asked whether Yas could out Lobin. Lobin. And he does it directly by finding that kill. And just leveling things off. Four versus four. 20 seconds left to go. And this is the problem, a really slow round from Loss overall in terms of getting map control. Now they're being punished by the fact that one or two players from D-Plus can just stab them in the back as they try and look towards site. Dots is waiting for his march and he's going to find it coming on forwards, not inside of the intoxicating smoke, but here's Soldier. Oh boy, just, just look at him. Just, just, just look. Okay, whatever. It's done. 32 seconds left on this one. Dash goes down. Yas finds the triple. In a crossfire. He's potentially got one on either side of him and as a Monty, obviously that's the last place you want to be. Um, if he came from the other side and out towards the top of stairs, um, it maybe just gives him that little bit of extra protection. It's where Maya's actually working from. Oh, miss, if he works from there, maybe a little bit easier for the monster. There's one behind vending machine and Dots could get caught out if he doesn't know about him. If they don't know about Harper, he could absolutely destroy this by taking out the Monty. Like, you'd assume they know? Based on Maya's positioning, I kind of assume they do, and it's just on Harper now to make the swing happen. He's got to get a big kill here, though. Dots is on the other side of the vending machine, I assume, because he knows his player is there. Maya's got him pinned down. They know exactly where he is, but it's who lands the shot first here. 
and it's going to be hit. Harper finding it out. Does get traded out immediately by Lobin. They've got over that problem, but now they've got 30 seconds left to make this push in work. Lobin inside a sight, looking in towards Cubby. One off towards his left as well, dancing around the table, but simply can't find anyone yet, Tim. He's just got himself into a bit of a difficult position here. He's in no man's land. No names. He's just wheel wheeling around, trying to find Nitro. anything he can. Oh, does boy. go in, and what a big Nitro from Yasta tear down Lobin. That leaves the Monty. Oh. Some great use of bulletproof cameras at this event so far. We've seen, um, I think particularly, um, the, Dark, uh, the Dark Zero and G2 match was a, a big one for uh, those uh, bulletproof cameras showing their worth. Um, and it certainly will continue as it goes on. But uh, a great pickup from the Twitch drone there. Woogie Man just roaming around on the mirror. Kind of near sight on that semi roam yellow stairs. Just mm. looking to hold on to it with the Vector. Well, I love Ron trying to run away. He's actually chose to push down and try and go at least a little bit aggressive here. They were expecting something, and sure enough, Dash was downstairs, but Maya managed to get in behind you and take out a soldier. That's going to break part of this top floor hall, which they committed a mirror window to, for example. And now Woogie has got himself dug in on yellow stairs. So top floor largely taken by the attackers here. Now they need to get to work on the verticals because we've not got a lot of time left to him. Only 75 seconds left in this round. Yeah, and that for me has been one of the big things on Loss's attacks. Uh, we said it on the garage attack, you know, maybe just a little bit of lack of direction. Not really sure. Again, you know, last time around, you just kind of um, got there at the end. You had Lobin on the finger, just stood in the middle of meeting, just trying to find a kill. Um, and I, I just don't feel like they're ever getting themselves poised and positioned for a proper execute where they've got the control they need. Um, it's more of a, a bit of a, a Hail Mary towards the end of the round. So 45 seconds uh -oh. left to go using those verticals. But I tell you what, Quarter's not scared, is it? He's having a look back. He's going to see if he can find anybody on the reverse. He's just dancing around as the ceiling seems to come down on top of it, but somehow, still inside of there, still not been sniffed out by loss, which means when the hatch drop comes through, Coated is in prime position to stab them in the back, Tim. Lobin drops the Here we go. and drops the players. In they go, looking to get that plant down. Maya is oh, going to start angle. sticking it. Coated needs to find this kill, but no, he's going to be covered. Oh, oh what a kill from Coated! He's just a little bit too late to protect oh, the plant, but he protected. gives him the one pump on the shotgun to shut him down, and that is now up to Cameraman to try and hold them off. He's not going to get into place in time. Corton's oh, no. just won this one for them. What a play out of the cubby from Corton. Not even just a play, but the whole game.